Vietnamese kitchen today. Today I have a very special guest with me. I have Heidi here and she's going to share with us her very special recipe, her mom's uh, delicious uh, peach recipe. And her mom made a business out of this when she just arrived in America in 1980s. And she's going to tell us all about it and she's going to share the uh, recipe with us. Welcome Heidi to Thank our you. channel. Thank you, Mom, for joining me today. Inviting, inviting me here. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I always watch your, uh, you know, YouTube channel, and the recipes are amazing. Um, I even make some of them, and you know, uh, they always turn out right. Um, thanks for the invite. So thank you so much. I appreciate for you. I know you're a very busy woman. Uh, Heidi, besides uh, uh, running her own business, she's very active in our community. She has done a lot of good deeds. Uh, she started her own organization and she's going to tell us about her organization as well. She's very, very active in the community and she's helping, supporting everybody that is in need, especially people who has hearing uh, problems. She provides them with hearing aids. And I'm going to ask her about that too. So mm -hmm. Heidi, Please tell us first about your mom. Uh, how did she start with this? It, it's such a such a inspirational yeah. uh, story. Yes. Well, um, in 1980, when we first came to the United States, you know, it was a new country. It didn't matter who studied what and did what. We had to make a living. Our parents. I was 15 at that time. Mm -hmm. Our parents had to make a living. So my mom loves cooking and uh, baking. So, you know, she had just learned this uh, uh, peach pastry recipe in Armenia and made it there mm -hmm. a few times. So when we had guests over or went somewhere, you mm -hmm. know, uh, we, were, we didn't have the luxury to go to the stores and buy uh, mm -hmm. chocolate pastries, even or yeah. pastries. So we had to make it at home from scratch. So she made this recipe of the mm -hmm. peach pastry uh, to take to relatives or friends and then uh, everybody was amazed though oh my god it looks like mm -hmm. real peach and uh, it became very popular and they started and ordering from her yes, to make it yeah for them. so when you know it got very popular mm -hmm. my mom decided to help the family by mm -hmm. making it because we didn't have too many pastry stores <laughs> like we do now Arby and yeah yes, pastry, Arby and pastry stores in Hollywood or Glendale or anywhere mm -hmm. else so she started making these at home and uh, in, she would used to put them in boxes of 20 or 25 mm -hmm. and it became so popular that even at the uh, elect governor Dukmejian's election campaigns and uh, all those you know uh, yeah, charity events, events yeah. people would buy and uh, you know take it to those events business owners would buy it as christmas presents to buy you know pass to their customers mm -hmm. So, you know, it uh, made a living for us in the It is such an inspirational <laughs> story. Yes. It's like your yeah. mom was such a brave woman and she made a living out of right. something that she was very good at yes. making. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing it with oh, us today. Yeah. Heidi is going to show us how to make it and we are going to make it for you. And she's going to share this special recipe, her mom's secret recipe with you. Sure, it would be my pleasure. So we will, uh, the recipe uh, is uh, very easy. The secret is shaping the dough like a, that like looks a like a peach, which I'll show you, it doesn't take mm -hmm. that much effort. So we'll uh, start the recipe by adding the three eggs okay. and then we will mix it with the one cup sugar and you know, mix it together. Should I do it while Sh you're telling yes, me what to do? Yes. Okay. So we are cracking three eggs and yes. we are going to mix it with sugar. One cup of sugar, yes. And we will blend it together in a mixer. And uh, okay. it's very easy. Have you now tell us about your uh, association, the organization that you have uh, established to help the needy? Um, uh, around the world actually yes. you help everybody that is in need well uh we my husband and i are hearing aid dispensers so we have to put this yes yes 
So we have mixed the sugar and egg uh, together. This is the consistency. And Heidi is going to tell us now what the next steps are. Okay. And also she's going to tell us about her organization. I'm anxious okay. to know mm -hmm. how she started and what inspired her and what she has done so far. She has done a lot for our country. Thank so, you, Margaret. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, so the organization that we have now, a non-profit organization, uh, as a lot of people in our community already are aware of, is Armenia Hearing Aid Project. Mm -hmm. My husband and I are hearing aid dispensers, as you know, we've been for 30 some years. And, you know, well, I believe that everyone should use the talents and abilities God has uh -huh. granted us. Uh -huh. And this is our talent and ability. And we've been lucky enough to be as a customer of the manufacturing company, Starting mm -hmm. Hearing Foundation. And this and foundation, they're worldwide. They're worldwide. Right? Yeah, they're the biggest hearing aid manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And they go all over the world and fit the needy with hearing mm -hmm. aids. So, you know, we've decided why not for our country and we approached mm -hmm. them, took a uh, courage to approach mm -hmm. them, but we did and they said, why not? If you have the need, you have a lot of homework to do, go do mm -hmm. it and we will join you. So we did our homework, talked to the Ministry of Health, to the mm -hmm. government and all that, which took a long time. Mm -hmm. And then finally in 2017, we did a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. Our mission and it was a huge mission from uh, three regions of uh, mm -hmm. Armenia, we fit over 1,800 hearing aids in three-day period at the, yeah, our enough. sports complex, mm -hmm. Amalir, Six, over 600 uh, mm -hmm. patients per day, and um, they were really happy with our organization in our country, and they decided to come back again and again. That's a lot of work. Yeah. I feel so lucky to have you here today. Oh, I know you're a very, very yeah. busy woman, and you do a lot and um, dedicating your time to the needy yes, and yes. today being here, it's, it's a great pleasure for well, me I to love have you here. Too, and I thank you for being <laughs> yeah. here. We are back to the, our peach recipe. pastry yeah. recipe, which is an Italian uh, recipe, right? Originally, is, I guess. It with my research, I find out this is an Italian wedding um, pastry and they make this at their weddings. Yeah. And now we have the luxury of learning it mm -hmm. and passing it to you. So next step. So next step after the sugar and the egg are beaten together, mm -hmm. we add eight ounces of sour cream and half a teaspoon baking soda. But we have to mix the sour cream and baking this soda. This is together. one teaspoon, so, so we're going to yes. use half of this. Mm -hmm. And we have to mix it together. I'm trying to be careful because it, we don't want it to be overpowering. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we are mixing this, mm -hmm. and it's gonna start bubbling. And uh, um, I so guess it's, it's, it acts as the same thing as baking powder to make the dough crisp, give it yeah rise and crispiness. Mm -hmm. And it's going to start bubbling now. Our sour cream, cream yeah. doesn't have it's, uh, it's too much liquid goods, in it. Yeah. yeah, I will put a little bit more of the baking soda. A little more, but it's yeah, just a little more, but it's just it won't uh, starting right now. So that's good. We don't want it to be overpowering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see the chemical reaction. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once it starts, should we bubbling, put the vanilla in this too? We can do that too. If yeah, we can put the vanilla. Are you mm -hmm. doing? Are we doing liquid or powder vanilla? Uh, liquid. Liquid. Okay, so we can put it there. Yes, of course. It's just going to be one teaspoon or? Uh, just I use, I you know, my own. recipe so. called for one or two. Yeah. So one teaspoon should be fine. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will activate that. Yeah. And then once it starts bubbling, which I see it already does, we can. Mm -hmm. Pour it in the uh, egg mixture. So this goes on top of the other mixture. Yes. Okay. And before we put it on the, the spatula. Yes. We, before we put it back in the mixer, we can also add the one stick of unsalted, softened butter. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, room so they'll, temperature, yes, I think. room temperature, yeah. yes. So they will mix together. Yeah. So should I do that? Yes. Beautiful. So one stick butter we will add to it. We have two sticks here. We're going to separate the one stick and mix it with this. Yeah, and the, the rest will use it for, for the, the cream. cream. Heidi, is this a good consistency? Can we stop yes, this now? Yes, you can stop now. As long as it's mixed together, the sour cream, butter, and the egg mixture, okay. egg and sugar mixture, we can start adding the flour. Now, I have never measured how much flour we put because uh -huh. uh, it has to be a very soft dough. Just when it starts pulling away from your hands, it doesn't stick to your hands, then it's ready. So okay, we'll start, start with half a cup at a time. I have one cup here. We'll put... Okay. Half of this, mix it, and then we'll add the other half. Yeah. Do you so want that me to give you half a cup measurement? No, 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 so we have added three cups so far. Actually, this is good. Heidi, what do you think? It's ready? It's perfect because it doesn't stick to your fingers, uh, to your hands anymore. And uh, it has to be as soft as possible. Okay, we're done with the dough. Three cups. Now we're going to shape it. That's the fun part. Mm -hmm. Our dough is ready. We transferred it onto the countertop. Now Heidi is going to show us how to shape it. Okay. So you know, I agree. this see. little scooper that you have actually is the perfect size okay. of the dough that we need. It's a smaller size ice cream scoop. So what we do is take one scoop mm -hmm. and this is actually the perfect size because it has to be okay. like a little bowl in your palm. Okay, so we are going to scoop it. Yes. And shape it into bowls. Okay. And make sure that there are no cracks on it. So it, it has a smooth... Uh, yeah, smooth texture. Texture, okay. Yes. So the uh, secret to making the peach is first make it round uh -huh. and then shape it. This is how my mom and I do it between uh -huh. your palms. Uh -huh. um, just give it a little bit... Uh, like that? Yes. A little bit uh, end, edge. Uh -huh. but uh, let it still keep the you know the roundness uh -huh. and each one of this is going to be half peach and uh -huh. then we're going to put two together to make it into one um, if you want we can put is it, it okay? in there this I is fine to... except a little bit pointy, pointy because it will yes. so uh, more it round will... and pointy because it will expand. Yeah. By the way, Margaret, we used to, uh, we, mm -hmm. uh, my mom or I haven't done it because, you know, this dough is like for the peach pastry for us, but mm -hmm. a lot of people make it into little, very yeah. nice little bowls and make cherries out of it. Oh. They make uh, um, more elongated and make a pear out of it. Interesting. I have seen a banana made out of it. Uh -huh. so. You can shape the dough into any into any kind fruit of fruit or whatever fruit. you want to shape, mm -hmm. as long as you know it's going to be the half of it. Uh, and then you put the two together with cream, mm -hmm. and we can put this in the. I want to learn it the way you do it. Yes, Is that's it okay? perfect. Yes, that's that's perfect. Just you know, we've done it so much with my mom; it has become like a habit. This, I mean, you just round it. Mm -hmm. and then I use this part at the edge so now we can start uh, putting it in the pan so in order to maximize the number that we put in there is we start you know we put one facing this way and the other, and the other right facing like this way again. yes and you have to leave enough space in between because it's going to be come bigger and you don't want them touching each other because then uh -huh. you know it's going to be uh, touched on the side then we have to fix it with cream so <laughs> if we want to have a perfect shape then we have to uh, separate them we have to uh, separate it and uh, give it enough space yes 
And by the way, if it if it it's has like any cracks or anything, it's okay. We can fill it with cream. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm covered with the sugar. It's mm -hmm. not going to show. So this is the process. It's I just want to see if I can do it. Um, Heidi had an event at her house, and mm -hmm. she uh, had another demonstration for a big group of uh, ladies and uh, we all had fun at the same time we had we lunch <laughs> we sang our Indian songs and we made uh, peaches yes. so this is so much fun if you're doing it with a big group of people recipe yeah by the way this recipe the the amounts that we have uh, with the recipe should make about 16 to 18 peaches 16 to 18. So that means between 32 to 36 pieces of, uh, you know, halves. You just and tell me if it's okay with that. I don't want to do something that it's not going to be um, um You know, the, another secret, you kind of roll it hard between the, you put little mm -hmm. pressure between your two uh, palms and that makes the dough even. Mm -hmm. And then the part that you, uh, that was between your palms, all you have to do is with your Okay, let me try it again. Yeah. Or some people shape it with their hands, you know, just give uh -huh. it a little bit elongated shape. Trust me, your uh, the shape you have is going to find its other part, other piece. Uh -huh. Other pair, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, okay, I'm learning. Yes. That's perfect, that's fine. Very good. Okay. So you'll get good at it as you do it so right. yes uh, don't forget my mom i have helped my mom during my college years so much that um you your know, mom is not doing it anymore no she, she's, she's 82 older. years old now yeah, and she has once we retire. gave her grandchildren <laughs> <laughs> she re well she didn't retire she still worked with me but uh -huh. Mainly, you know, um, at that time, she didn't have to be a breadwinner in the yeah. family. Uh, you know, we had taken over. After a certain age, we had yes. to retire. Not too close to each other because they will... It's about an inch apart. Yes. Inch, inch and a half apart. In both way directions, yes. So you have to um, place it like a yin-yang. Mm -hmm. One facing up, one facing down. Yes. To maximize the space actually it's like shaped like a fig yes fig. yes it's exactly you're right it is like a fig this is shaped like a fig yes and it will become a peach later <laughs> we are going to shape it like a fig then it will become a peach just like Heidi said it looks beautiful mm -hmm. but it's not very uh, hard to make it looks um, time consuming and it looks very complicated, but it's not. Yes, by the way, you can make it in advance. Mm -hmm. uh, you can either freeze it when we take out the inside to mm -hmm. make it look like a peach with a seed. Uh, you can store it like that. You can even put the cream and put them together and store mm -hmm. and freeze it like that. It will last a long time in the freezer. So all you have to do is take it out, put the colors. Mm -hmm. and the sugar and it's ready to go so <coughs> you can make the dough in advance and freeze it you can either dough make the dough in advance and freeze it or, or you if you like it. to have it ready almost mm -hmm. ready to go then you cook it you put the cream and the two pieces together and freeze it like that mm -hmm. when it's time to take it out all you have to do is add the colors and the mm -hmm. sugar and you're done now we're going to cook it and then we'll come back once it's done yes See you shortly. Our cookies are in the range and it's cooking at 350 degree oven, mm -hmm. right? It was preheated oven. We just put it in. Now we are going to show you how to make the cream. So how yes. do we make the cream? Okay, Thanks. so while the cookies are cooking, we make the cream because uh, the thickening agent part of the cream uh, has to be cooled down before we mix it with the butter. So usually this is how we do it. Put the cookies in the oven, then start the cream. Okay. So for the cream, we would need... Um, this is uh, maybe too much. One and a half tablespoon of uh, flour. Mixed with half uh, a cup of sugar. We have a cup of sugar. And two eggs. Okay. And then we mix this just, just to, you know... We'll try to it mix together. it. And then add the add half a cup of milk. 
gradually, gradually to put it together. We have to cook this on the stove and we have to constantly stir it so it yes. won't get burned and it won't uh, stick to the bottom. Yes, and while it's cooking or now even, we can add a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Done, yes. Yes, it's done. See how it has thickened already. And actually, this is going to make a perfect cream. So now this has to cool down, and then we're going to mix it with butter. So now that the cream is uh, cooled down completely, we will add the butter to it and mix and blend together very well, and it's going to be uh, fluffy, fluffy, buttery cream. Okay, so, uh, you know, we, when we were making it, uh, mm -hmm. we're trying to make it as uh, same as possible, uh -huh. but then uniform. again, we are as uniform as possible, but then one is bigger, one is smaller, so we like to pair them together. So this is what we do, um, you know, uh, even though you can cover the imperfections with cream, but mm -hmm. then... In other words, we are trying to find the perfect matching pairs together and pair it together. Yes. And um, we are going to do the next step. Okay. Yes. And so once we pair them, these are perfect together. Mm -hmm. This one will be perfect with this. Yes. So we have our pairs now. So once we find the pairs, this is what we do. We will take out from the flat side enough, I mean, uh, you know, as much as you can to fill with cream in the shape and you take out the dough in the shape of the peach. Okay, we so have to take hole. the core out yes. and make a hollow mm -hmm. in order to put the cream inside. Yes. And besides the cream, we are also going to put a almond in it. To look like a seed. So it will look like the seed of the yeah. uh, peach. So this is what we come Let up with. Let me try it. Can yes. I try it? Definitely. Okay, I want to try it too. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, it's not that hard. It's very it's easy. easy. Um, and how, once it cools down, the cookie is ready to be cored. And this part, like we said, you, you don't have to discard it. You can eat it. You can it's put like it in it a part of cookie. Yeah, you can, you can do a lot of things. You can make another dessert with it. Yes. Just put whipped cream and uh, some sweet... Um, I don't know, just parfaits. Or kids like to eat it with milk, like cereal, uh -huh. sometimes. I know a lot of kids that like to eat it with cereal. Uh -huh. Okay, so once they're paired and cored, we fill cream. We fill it with cream. And make sure you come, uh, fill the, the whole part. surface. Yeah, the whole surface. Okay. And a little bit more than flat surface because when we put the two together, the extra uh, cream is going to fill the sides of the peach. So don't forget to put the almond in one of the pieces. One of the that's going to be, make the pear mm -hmm. to, you know, look like the seed of the peach. Is this okay? Yes, that's perfect actually. And here the seed, the almond will go on this side. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, since we have more than enough uh, cream, when we stick the press the two together, extra cream comes out. And, you know, with the fingers, we try to fill the... Uh, so it becomes the glue. Yeah. The so cream becomes the glue. And if there are any imperfections or cracks, you can fill it with, with your cream. Finger. Yeah. And it will, I mean, not necessary, but if this was big, uh -huh. then we would cover. It, yeah, you know. cover the holes with your finger, mm -hmm. with the cream. 
Yes. Is this okay? That's perfect, actually. Okay, we'll put it aside. And once we put the cream and the almond with the almond inside, then we will refrigerate it uh, so that it would be easier to color. Because of the butter in the cream, it melts fast, so uh, it would be good if it's cool, cooled and cold. And it will we... stick together yes. too. Mm -hmm. So we'll refrigerate it, we'll give it about half an hour, is that enough time? 15 minutes to half an hour, yes, half an hour should be more than enough. So this is ready to go in the refrigerator for 15 minutes to half an hour. We'll see you the next step, right? Yes, and the last okay. final step, which is the fun part. Okay, we are almost done with our peach cookies, now we are going to do the last um, portion of it. Now we are going to make it more prettier and more realistic. So this is the artistic part of it and Heidi is going to show us what's the next step. So this is the most uh, the fun part of the uh -huh. whole thing, whole process of the peach cookies, Marvit. So um, we're going to need red food coloring and yellow food coloring. So in a little tiny uh, bowl, uh, we put a few like three or four drops of red food coloring. This is going to be the cheeks of the peach. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then um, in a little bit bigger bowl, big enough to be able to roll the peach cookie in, in it is going to be our yellow food coloring. But since the peach has orange, uh, about like five or six uh, Just drops a of, hint of it. Yeah, yellow, but we add like one or two drops of um, red also just to give it a little uh, orange shade yeah, yeah because yeah so that it's not yet red i mean yellow very yellow it's a little bit orangey uh what i like to do is test it uh -huh. on one of the peaches so what you do is uh, with your finger with your finger you make the cheeks red cheeks of the peach red cheeks on the peach on both sides okay so two red cheeks and then we hold the red cheek area and roll it in the yellow uh, mixture to give the peach yellow orangey yellow. in the sugar to make sure it's coated and then we put it away for a few minutes, go to the next one, and then I will show so you the, yes, the very, very last looks very step realistic to make it now. very real, even more real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this will be the, the final one I do. Would you like to hold it? Hold it. Uh -huh. Here are the chicks. And you hold the chicks and roll it in the yellow once again to give the yellow coloring. And here okay. we go in the sugar. You take the peach, hold it from the chicks, mm -hmm. take a toothpick and make a hole, an opening with the toothpick in the middle of the uh, head peach. part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, these are the leaves that we collect, uh, we got from the trees. So this is how I would like to um, cut it. You cut the leaves like this. And then you, the, the area that you open with the toothpick, you just press it, yeah. press it in. And here goes your peach. That's beautiful. Yeah. It looks, and the more the sugar uh -huh. settles, sets, the more real it looks uh -huh. like the peach. And then the colors will be more vibrant. Yes, and more vibrant. They yes. become more visible. Yes, so once again, nicely. And that's it, we're done. We're done with making our, our peach pastry. Yes. <laughs> Next, we are going to show you how to present it. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, Heidi. Yeah. I learned something new. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll learn something we'll new always, too. I we'll hope you'll always, take this yes. to your kitchen and you'll make it. And it's fun to make and it's very presentable. Uh, mm -hmm. um, tasty cookie and good for any table, any occasion. 
And now is the fun part. We are going to taste the labor of the hard work. Heidi's mm -hmm. hard work. She worked hard today you, to create this artwork. It's a piece of art actually. I, I just want to look at it, not to eat it, because it looks so beautiful. It's also delicious, by the way. It is also it's delicious. Now we are going to taste it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi, for being with me today. My and pleasure. And spending most of your day here today. My pleasure. And trying to create this and show me and teach me how to do it. Now our audience will learn how to do it too. We had fun. <laughs> we had fun. Thank yes, you. And I would recommend you do it because it's not it's a beautiful art piece of art but it's very easy to make as you saw not too many steps hopefully you'll make it and you'll yeah. taste it too yes. and now fun part let's taste it you do <laughs> the okay. other okay so we'll take i guess here's what the inside looks like mm -hmm. it has the seed as you can see and it has the leaves and it looks like a real peach and it takes Tastes very uh, good. It looks and so real. Yes. And now we are going to taste it. Let's see how it is. Oh, it smells good too. Mm -hmm. mm. So delicious. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. It has been my pleasure, honestly, to spend the day with you. Now we have to make, make a Now we have to make a cup of coffee <laughs> or tea and enjoy that. Well, I would love to thank you for watching us and being with us today. And thank you, Heidi, again My for pleasure. all your help and your support and showing us this beautiful and delicious recipe. It's been my utmost pleasure and um, continue the good work. I've shared many of your recipes. <laughs> I made my other recipes and you've thank been a great so job. Much. You've been a great friend and um, mm -hmm. And we've known each other for many years yes. and this will bring us even more closer, closer. Yes. Yes. yes well thank you and we're going to say bye have a wonderful day wonderful week and wonderful life bye bye, Enjoy. bye, -bye.